Hi everyone in YouTube land, it's me again, and I just am doing this thing for Biddy Baby. Um, this is not Biddy Baby, but this is our new baby. And the reason that I brought her out is because I went through my older catalogs and I was noticing how even though I didn't have a whole lot of summer stuff for my white body Molly, if not for any of my Mollies, like I don't have their summer camp outfits, um, I do have the summer book that goes with the Molly collection as well as the summer pin that goes with the Molly collection. So I felt pretty good about that as a collector. Um, as a collector, I know it's really important that you try to collect everything over the years, but I do know my limitations. And unfortunately, some of this stuff is rather expensive now to collect. It's only if you get really fortunate and lucky um, and blessed to walk around some of the consignment shops of lately that I've been able to accrue some of this extra stuff. But nowadays, it's getting harder and harder to find with the popularity of the 35th anniversary dolls now coming out. So I thought about my Our New Baby dolls, which were readily available around the 1990s. I think they came out in the 1990s, Our New Baby. And that was a new concept for American Girl at the time, Pleasant Company, who was dealing with 18-inch dolls that were mostly for the historical periods um, for the American Girl collection series. So Pleasant Rolling came out with a new series called Our New Baby. And you can see that some of the original books still have her name on them as the original author. Um, the reason I am not featuring the African American Our New Baby is because I regifted her um, to my youngest. And so um, I no longer have, or in my collection, I no longer have the Our New Baby. Um, and that was something that my husband and I had talked about uh, regifting the Our New Baby, because it's something that's been in my family for a while since I was a kid. So I definitely want to pass the concept down that when you have baby dolls like this, if you have a child between um, the toddler age and preschool, you usually do try to re-gift some of these dolls. So at this point, um, my son is the youngest in my family, the youngest member of my family. Um, at this point. So as the youngest member of the family, um, the, my our new baby, the African American our new baby was regifted for him for his second birthday. Okay, and the reason that I'm on our new baby is because I was looking at the 1990 catalog for the summer. And it's actually featuring the Biddy Baby collection. And when I was looking at the sleepers, I thought to myself, oh my goodness, I actually have this baby doll. I actually have this baby doll because I recognize the sleeper and the bitty bear. Now with our new baby, she didn't come with a bitty bear, but um, the doll that I have actually comes in this sleeper and she has the bitty bear. So I'm going to get this doll so you guys can see the difference between um, the Our New Baby collection and the Biddy Twin collection when it first came out and debuted. So with my Our New Baby, um, she came with the bib. She came with the knit dress. She came with these socks. She came with a knitted cardigan that came well, it came with some extra cloth diapers, which are tagged. Um, they actually have a Pleasant Company tag on them that say 1990. Um, it came with the play dress with uh, the diaper cover. Um, let's see. She came with her original sleeper. She came with a write-up that explains the Our New Baby concept. And 
yeah, I showed you guys the cardigan and the knits. So those were the knits. She's actually wearing her booties. And she came with um, this cloth to wash her. And um, she also came with this bathrobe or a bath towel. So right now our new baby, um, who is, her name is Catherine Helen, she actually has blonde hair with the gossamer eyelashes. They're like a very light blonde. And if you turn her head around so you guys can see this a little bit better, her, um, her bonnet actually, her knit bonnet actually matches the gingham in her dress. The ribbon matches the gingham in her dress. Where with the new bitty baby that came out, she came with a bitty bear. Um, and she came with her original sleeper that's featured in the catalog that has like the eyelet with the two hearts. And this actually looks like the same gingham print, but it's not. She has a separate knit sweater from the gingham that's actually featured on the other Our New Baby. This gingham print is a little bit smaller and so it's like a checked gingham as opposed to the original gingham that is more spaced out. So with the Bitty Baby, um, you can see that she has no eyebrows and she looks very much like the other Our New Baby, uh, the African-American one that I gifted my youngest, but um, she's actually not. She's the Bitty Baby doll. Okay, sorry guys. Um, actually, so this is the Bitty Baby with the original sleeper with the original Bitty Bear. And so she's a little bit lighter in this picture, but you can see that the hair type is still the same. She's still got that same um, head mold that the Our New Baby had, the African American Our New Baby. And you can see that the sleeper is similar to the sleeper that she has, if not the exact same sleeper. with the hearts. And so this is the collection. Um, I'm not sure if this is the debut, but this is what they had for Bitty Baby at the time. And you can see that it's similar to a few of the things that the Our New Baby had. See the bassinet? Um, see how they featured a lot of stuff with her sleeper? And again, since I gifted my uh, African-American Our New Baby to my baby, um, you know, I just, I'm not really pressed about collecting a Bitty Baby just to be a collector. I feel like if I do come across some of these items, um, it's nice to know where they came from and that they had a lot for their collection and that it's very similar to a lot of the things that um, the Our New Baby had. So I'm gonna give you guys another look at the Bitty Bear um, and the Sleeper. And remember that these Our New, Our New Babies, remember that these Bitty Babies, like Our New Babies, did not have the eyebrows. So the Bitty Bear, um, this Bitty Bear has a tag. It doesn't have like a date or anything and it doesn't have an elastic. So, so again, she's nice. She's um, again, rather close to the African-American Our New Baby, but I am happy that I was able to get uh, this one who is in the original uh, Bitty Baby outfit, as opposed to this one who just is gonna be like an Our New Baby clothing. And maybe I'll have something new for her, but I'm not sure. I'll see how 
how it goes, but I did order something brand new for her to wear in honor of the um, American Girl 35th anniversary. Okay, and last but not least, here is my last, um, actually she's my second to last older Bitty Baby doll. Um, so she came in this sleeper, which is kind of like a paisley, paisley, paisley sleeper. <laughs> And she came with her bitty baby bear that has an elastic attachment. And so she is um, my second to last doll. The other doll is in storage. So my husband and I are working on the storage right now to see if we can find some of my older American Girl Pleasant Company things. And I believe that's where my other bitty baby is with the kimono sleeper who um, also is the last of the non-eyebrow uh, baby dolls. So you went from our new baby with her original book. Then you had the bitty baby with her bitty bear. And then you had the other bitty baby who came with her bitty bear with the elastic with the paisley sleeper. And she also had some things in her collection as well. Um, so this is it. This concludes this video for um, the Pleasant Company and American Girl Baby Dolls. So hopefully you guys won't sleep on finding some of these baby dolls in the consignment shops and just, you know, looking at their collection um, just to celebrate American Girl's 35th anniversary, which includes the Bitty Baby collection. All right. Talk to you later.